right, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and welcome to day number 17 of Vlogmas. I was really trying to hold off and post when I got my new memory card, but it is getting late, the sun's starting to set, and I wanted to go ahead and get this done before I got too tired. So yeah, I ended up organizing stickers. I've got all of my winter and January, February collection stickers in here. So I've got some Christmas stuff. I have all of the January and 2024 things in there, my January kit from Hubman and Chub Girl, some other plant related goodness, and then also the February stuff in there. So I've got everything set up in here to work on some things. This is just that really cute one I got from Hubman and Chub Girl. It's just an A5 ring planner, but I'm using it as a sticker binder for now. So I was going to go ahead and pull this one out. It's like all that stuff I got from Coffee Monsters Co. And I think there's a set of tabs in there and some things I can stick on the outside of planners. So I've sort of narrowed down some of my planner lineup, not a whole lot of it. I really, really like this size, using this for doing my Vlogmas stuff, but I just don't love the creaminess of this paper. I don't love the red of this. This is the old Tomei River paper and all the other planners have the new sands in, which is more white. And I just don't love this one. I have been used to using the white paper from the sterling ink planners and really really like it so i'm gonna maybe use this as some sort of swatch book i love the book itself i just wish the inside was different different paper i don't love that but i do love the size so i have decided to use this one for part of my content planning i want to have a bigger planner and i'm going to be using the sprouted planner as like my big picture planning things out quarters at a time and writing out to-do lists, writing out rough draft of things. This is gonna be kind of my messy copy of scratching things out and like sitting here brainstorming and planning it out, mapping out multiple months and things in a row. And this is gonna be my one that I can take with me to my computer and it's like the finalized copy of the week. Videos a week planned out and we'll have them written in here and then I'm gonna have some sort of checklist to um, be like, okay, I've filmed it, I've edited it, I've uploaded it, and then it's scheduled to go, like that kind of checklist, or I posted it to social media. I'll have some sort of checklist along each thing. So that is my plan for all of this. Moving forward, it's just having this as being more of a finalized draft of things, whereas this is gonna be like my bigger picture. I can sketch out ideas, write out video things to come, and then this one's it hashing out from week to week and it's the one I can carry back and forth with me more easily than something like this. I loved having a golden coil. It's about this size, but it's just too big to be taking back and forth to my computer. Whereas I've loved taking this one back and forth to my computer. It's so slim and tiny and it has just enough information in it. So I'm gonna have this be my combo for that content. So I was thinking I might end up putting some tabs on this one. So I've got these ones from Ink and Volt. I could stick on there. I kind of like the building off of this gold edge using one of these golden colored ones. I think I'm going to put the tabs on here. I did end up taking some of these off and using them in my golden coil, but they actually don't stick with this paper very well. So I will remove them and they don't stick super hard except to Tomoy River paper. I ended up having to move this weak one and it did end up ripping the first page. So. Just keep that in mind, these ones are removable tabs only to a certain degree because it will rip the Tomoe River paper. So I'm thinking I will go ahead and stick these on here. I also have these tabs from Hemlock and Oak that I wanna use on something. And I also have a set of tabs, where did I just put all those stickers? Um, I have a set of tabs here that I can use for something as well. So this is all my 2024s and I ended up with one set of tabs. I don't know what planner those are going on yet, but I really like those ones. And I think that's all as far as tabs. Some of these have been used up, so I need to clear them out of this. I also have these cute little 2024s to use. And then these are more things from January and they actually match the January Hubman and Chub Girl kit really well. Okay, so some of these have been used up. So that's just kit stuff that I can use. This is just gonna be me figuring out what tabs. I think the pink ones are gorgeous, but I don't think they match the planner I wanna use. So I think these ones will really look good. Also, I can use some of these light blue ones that look really good with the same color. So I will do that. I don't like these whitish ones, but I can always borrow from different sets. So I think I'm just gonna tab this one, have it ready to go, and I need more space. I've got stacks of things. I was looking at planners and writing out a very, very rough draft of 
my planner lineup for 2024. I know people have already gotten their planner lineups done. I have not done that actually. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two off and they stick really good just over and over again. I'm just gonna set them at the edge because I'm gonna need the September and October ones. They do end up sticking really well, but they don't stick to this like really toothy paper, so they won't work really good in Erin Condren planners either because they have that same really thick toothy paper. Okay, so I've got my tabs out of the way. I'm gonna use these ones. And they may overlap a bit, a little bit, which doesn't bother me because these little thumb tabs are very small. So I've got the first six months and notes on there I can flip to any month I want to look at. And um, I'll probably have some sort of upper tab to mark whatever week I'm on. And um, that's it for that. That's going to be my content planner. I'm going to save the rest of these for other times. I do want to stick um, one of these on there. I don't know which one I like. I kind of like that with the rest of the colors. Really cover up the things. I'm not exactly sure with the little emoji on there. I'm gonna go with it. It mostly covers up everything. Okay. So that's gonna be my content planner for now. I've got two sets of pink tabs, the other metallic tabs to use for various other planners. Not sure about this. But for now, that's going to be how I'm going to keep this one. Let's go ahead and ink vent and add vent for now. All of these are used up sheets, so I'm going to chuck them. All right, we are on 17, which is this little package. Um, feels like stickers. It is stickers. Okay, this is... Uh, I'm going to rip it. I'm going to get the stickers out. It's all the small stickers, which I love. I will keep those guys. And then we're going to work on ink vent real quick. I was able to finagle something so I could get the purple ink. I'll show you what I did, actually. I ended up taking my duplicate brunch date, putting most of it in the sample pile. I left some room so I could dip a pen in it, but it's basically two sample vials in one. Dumped and cleaned this one out, and then I could dump the purple in and dip my purple pen. So I'll do the same thing with the ebony green, I think is the other little sample I have. So this is today for me. Let's go ahead and put 17 in. And then we're going to go another blue, since we're all on the blues now. Oh, and I need to put these tabs away. I've got that September and October tab sitting on my desk. I'm going to go ahead and stick them in here. This one's a light one. Blue Cotton Candy by Ferris Wheel Press. And this is a very, very light color. I will wait to write my samples. I don't want to get out the dip pen. I'm feeling kind of law today. Um, so I will put it on here with the regular filled up pen and same with writing around it. It was just way easier that way. Blue cotton candy. And today's video is actually a really fun one. I got a bunch of Aura Estelle goodness, including some of their Tomoy River paper planners and some of their beautiful covers. And this video is the haul, going through all of that, walking through the two planners that I received. And I'm super excited about this. I do plan on putting at least one of these, possibly both of these, in my planner lineup for 2024, and also using the covers for 2024. So I'm super excited. I already have my Sterling ink in my croc cover, and I'm ready to go. I'm really, really excited about this setup. I will end up putting a notebook or another planner in here with that as well but for now it's just housing the one planner. And yeah, we're just gonna hop right into the Aura Estelle unboxing. Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and I've got a giant Black Friday order to share. I think this is the most money I have spent 
on a Black Friday order. I did get quite a bit from Erin Condren as well, but this one is from Aura Estelle. I ended up getting quite a few covers. They had a great sale on covers and they also had so many good freebies that I maxed out all the freebies, got a cover in each size that I wanted, and then got some other planners and things to review as well. So I have never gotten any of their covers, but I have been drooling over them for the past like two years. Like as soon as I saw Aura Estelle covers, I knew about their covers before I knew about their Tomoy River paper planners. So it's been a long time coming. This is just packing paper. They packed it really well and it did come from Canada to the United States. So it did take a little bit of time to reach me. I saw the mail person pull up right as I was ending filming a different video. And I was like, yes, it's my order. All right, I got two Tomoy River paper planners, three covers, multiple freebies. It looks like we got some good stuff in here. We're gonna just take everything out of the box and then start unpacking. Actually, I really like these. <laughs> I think they're really pretty cover things here. Got that, we've got that, we've got that. Oh my goodness, we've got a couple of smaller things. This was a, an embarrassingly large order. Okay, there we go. There's everything out of the box. Let's go ahead and just, I guess, start on the top. I've got one of the freebies and I did not realize how big this was. And this is so cute. They ran out of the pink one. I had a problem with the coupon code. Coupon code didn't work. Or I thought you had to type in the coupon code, but once you got to the right amount, it's supposed to automatically come off. It was not right yet. <laughs> so when I first went to place the order, I had the pink one in my bag and the pink one sold out by the time I could get it to work. So unfortunately I did get the purple one, which is still gorgeous, but I was really hoping for pink. You'll see there's a pink theme throughout this, but it is a cute little planner pouch and I feel like I'm gonna have trouble getting some things off. Let's see, where did I put my other scissors? Let's try to uh, snip things off without damaging things. Don't wanna damage anything. Come on, buddy. Okay, so it's got the little handle, like wrist lit. It's got the cute little zipper Nike charm. And it's super cute. Like I've never gotten any other leather or fake leather goods. I don't know what it is exactly. Look at that, it's like metallic on that little part with the Mickey. It's got the wristlet. So you can take that off by the way, you don't have to have it. And then the little zipper on the top and it's big enough for a full size planner in here. It's got some pin loops in there and no zipper pockets or anything. It's just one big pouch, which is super cute. Love that one. And they did have other colors. They had, I think, a black and a blue as well. I'll set things to the side. And then that came in this big, nice cover. So you can keep everything protected in the covers. I also got this freebie, which it's just a tote bag, which is super cute. I think this one came with every order at a certain amount until they ran out. Smile, be you. Sun, love, choose kindness, planner vibes. So it's a little tote bag. Very cute. It's got a little compartment in the top there. And this one says Aura Estelle on the side. You can use that for something. I'm always needing tote bags for various things. Let's do our freebies. We'll just continue on the freebie bandwagon. So there was a freebie for a little cloud charm. I think it's a little keychain, or you can stick it to your planner covers and use it as a little cover charm. I got a pink one. It's pebbly textured with a pink color. And again, like can't take that off, but it clips onto your planner or your wallet or purse, whatever you want to use it for. And then this little cloud says Aura Estelle. Very cute. And then my last little freebie is so cute. <laughs> it's got the little ringlet there to stick it onto something. But it's a tiny little planner. <laughs> it looks just like their big covers and planners. Oh my gosh, it's the teeniest thing I've ever seen. And it has little Oh, that's so cute. So they slip into this little thing. So these are little page flags. You slip them in there. So you could slip in something else in this little book too. Isn't that so cute? It's a little keychain and it has this one that says Aura Estelle. It's got the little cloud scallop on it. Super cute. I wasn't exactly sure what that was gonna include, but this is the freebie. So those were the freebies for each various size thing, but I love that. It's super cute. You don't have page flags with you. All right, that's enough freebie talk. Let's go ahead and do covers before we talk planners. And I will do individual planner videos for each of these at some point, but I'll sort of walk through them in this video as well. All right, so we've got an A6, a B6, and an A5 cover. So those are the three 
size of planners that I'm mostly interested in. I also thought about getting a week's cover, but I think they only had one week's option. Let's see, I don't know if they have a packing slip. I will insert the names of things up on the screen because I don't know right offhand which cover is which. So let's zoom in just a tiny bit. But I know this is A6 size. I just don't know what color name this one is. Oh, it does include elastic too. I wasn't sure about that. So it does have the little dots for looping your elastic bands if you want to stick books in like that. It also has this little clip for your keychain charms. It has plenty of room for tabs and sticky notes and business cards credit cards, you can use it like a wallet, plenty of cover, um, pockets and stuff, pockets, pocket in the back here. This is really a neat feature in these. You can change the thickness of your planner. And I don't know if this is gonna be super easy or difficult to move, but you can move this in and out of the three sizes. And if you have a really skinny book, you can put it in the furthest back one. If you have a really fat book or wanna stick multiple books in, you stick it in the, the uh, for this one here. So that makes it as thick as possible and you can clip it. And that's a pretty dang chonky little buddy right there. I love that they're adjustable like that. It also has this little front pocket and then nothing on the back there, but super beautiful. The stitching looks great. The feel of it's really nice. I really like it. I love that they included the elastic in there as well. I wasn't sure about that part of it. It's super cute. It does have the two bookmarks as well, which have little circles on the ends. Really, really cute. And there's the imprint and also has room for two pen loops, which I like. I like that there's room for more than one. As far as what can slip in this, I've got a couple of these little A6 size notebooks. This one happens to be from Wonderland 222. Slips right in there or you can elastic loop them. You could stick multiples in there because that one's very thin. I also got an A6 in here that will possibly go in this cover. My neighbor's doing landscaping work, so you can hear lots of noise, but I love it. I think it's super cute. Let's keep going on the cover bandwagon. Here is the B6 size. Love their little drawstring baggies for these covers. And these are super expensive. Like, I couldn't pay full price for these at this point. I'm like, I don't want to invest that much money in each cover. I'm still going to, like, baby them a lot. All right, this is the, the B6 cover. Also includes matching elastics in there. Also has the adjustable, basically all the same features as the other one did. Little bookmarks in there. It's just a different color of pink. I ended up with three different shades of pink for these three planners, but it's the same thing, just a different size. And I will put the names of the colors up on the screen. So this is the lightest of the pinks that I got. Then I got the medium shade of pink there. And then moving those out of the way, the A51 is the prettiest of the three, I think. I'm super excited about this one. Are you ready? It's it's going to be a bright one. All right. <gasps> it's so pretty. It's actually not as bright and in your face as I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be more of like a, a brighter, hotter pink, but it's croc. Look at it. It's croc. Isn't that so cool? I love this one. So I like the middle one because it has the scallops as well. I like the color of it. But this one is gorgeous. And I really thought it was going to be more along the lines of, you know, bright pink. I dropped my little origami turtle that Johnny made for me. It's like a medium bright pink. It's not as hot pink as I thought it was going to be, but it's gorgeous. I love the, the croc style of this. So one of my planners for the year is going to end up in this one maybe more than one, depending on how fat I can chunkify this one. It's still pretty, it's a pretty thick planner cover and that's on the tightest loop. I still can make it like an inch thicker than this and chunk it up even more, but gosh, I love that color. It's so pretty. So here we go. We got the, the darker pink, the medium pink, the lighter pink. You can compare those three side by side. And I just love the croc, love that pattern. So pretty. I'm super excited about these. You guys know how much I love pink and teal and these are great. So I'm excited to fill all of these up and use them for my various planners for the year. I've got A6, B6, and A5 size planners in various companies' options. And then I also have the two from Aura Estelle here. So we've got the B6 Classic Daily and I love this one has dated pages. It's something you don't find in a lot of the planners that have daily pages. They don't have them with actual dates on them. This one's called the Catch All Weekly. I think these planners are dated planners. So I'm super excited. I'm gonna get both of these guys opened. 
come in the cute little boxes. I like that the pop boxes have pop of color. The one thing I will say, the one complaint I have about their planners is they mostly only come in black. I would love to see planner cover color options. I know you're gonna put them in here, but I would think it'd be super pretty with a pink actual paper cover and then a pink bigger cover on top. I would love it to kind of match or coordinate or get something other than black. Very, very few of their planners come in anything aside from black. I think I ended up with one pink planner from them for last year. I know I always do this way wrong. Does it slide out? It's supposed to slide out. Yes, it does slide out, okay. Again, black cover, not thrilled about the actual cover itself. And let's open this one as well. I do love their little boxes. This color, gorgeous, super bright and fun. Okay, both of these are chunky monkeys, so this one has all the daily pages. It's a B6, very thick. All right, so let's walk through these. This is the A6 Catch-All Weekly Planner for 2024. It gives you this little thing, which I think is great. They include these with all their planners. It shows you different fun things on here, and it gives you a really cool example of how they would use it. So, walking through it, it's got the gray cover lit paper, which I do think is really pretty. I would just love to see a different color on the outside. Look, even just one other color option. If I have a choice between black and anything else, I pretty much pick the anything else. I just don't want it to be black or red. Like those are the two least favorite options. I mean, black's neutral, it's fine. It's just not exciting. Like these, gorgeous. They do great color options for everything but these Tomoe River paper planners. So walking in, we've got the yearly spread. We've got an index type of page. We have the habit tracker or like word a day type of trackers. It's all the way through the end of the year. You get some sort of daily page here that could be goals or whatever. You get your calendars starting in January. Very cute. There's Sunday start, which is unusual. A lot of these use the Monday start even on the calendar. Then you get a lined page there. Here is your weekly spread, which I love the way this one looks. This one could totally be a content planner for me because it's so cute where I could put what videos are going up and then ideas, video notes, goals for the week or to-dos for the week. And as far as extra paper between each, you get one, two, three sheets between each weekly spread, which is great. If you have lots of notes during the week, that would be great to be able to have that room in between each week. And then you'll move into your next week, move into your next week, all the way until you get to the next month. So here's your one, two, three, you move into your next month. And at the beginning of the month, you get that extra weekly page. So this could be like your monthly goals type of page here. And then you get those three pages in between each week, which I love. I love the way that how this is laid out. It's all dispersed. You get quite a bit of notes pages in the back. You will get to the end. This is the last week of December, 2024. You get your three pages and then you get a little bit of notes pages in the back. There's not a whole lot back there, but there's some. And then you move into the back. You get the gray coverlet. Very cute. I really like the way that this one's laid out. I would love to see this layout provided by other companies. I really like this half horizontal type of spread. I love the pages in between. This could totally be a great content planner. It's very nice and small and sleek. It would be super cute in the cover. Even though it is black, it still goes really well with the pink. Not gonna lie, still love it even if it's black. And look at that, it'd be so cute in this little book. I'm trying to scoot it all the way in. It's like crooked, Err. user error. Okay, I got it mostly straight in there, but I could still stick other things in there as well. Like if I need more ideas or notebooks, I could stick another one in this cover and have this cute little buddy together. I love it. So that's a great, great planner option. Next is this, and this one has the dated daily pages, which is why I'm, which is why I'm super excited about this one. I really would love to see this exact planner in an A5 size, and I would have been sold completely on an A5 version of this. I hope they do that. This is the classic daily. It starts out the same way. The coverlet page is not gray, whereas this one's gray. This one's more of like a taupey neutral color. It's like leans a little bit green compared to this gray. It does give you the same sort of thing. All their planners in the Tomoe River paper uh, come with this. Super cute. And I love this layout. So let's let's go look at it. Get your yearly. You got your habit trackers. Really all the way through. 
you get a blank page. This one starts again in January, again, Sunday start, which is unique for these style of planners. Typically all of them start a Monday start monthly calendar. You get another lined paper, and then you move into your weekly overview page and daily page, daily dated page. So it's all dispersed. You can see all the planner stuff is chunked into chunks, and this is totally one I will stick tabs on because I love that everything's in one big chunk, and I won't have to do like monthly tabs for the weekly section, monthly tabs for the monthly section, monthly tabs for the daily sections. It's all in one big chunk. So this is the weekly page. It gives you just a little bit of room for each thing. It isn't lined, which you can see that section is just a big box, but it lines up with the grids behind it. So these lines go with the grid spacing. So you can use those grids behind it and write. You can see through the Tomoy River paper to the back side and you can use those grids to use to write. And then you get this like weekly to-do listing type of page and then a daily page. And these are all dated. You can see the really pretty headers up at the top. It gives you space to like add the weather or your top thing of the day if you have appointments or whatever. It does give you a timeline here, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m., but you don't have to use it if you don't want to. It's very discreet on that side. And then the rest is gridded out. I love the little border around the whole thing. It's super clean and sleek. I just love, layout of this and I will be walking through these each in their own separate videos but I could totally see me using this one for something I just love love the dated daily pages they're nice and clean the only other planner I know that gives you the date headers at the top is the Hobonichis and they are colorful one of this is happens to be an a6 but each month is colorful whereas these are not colorful these are dispersed whereas these have all the daily pages in the back the monthly pages up at the front. So no color versus color. I'm so excited about this. And again, I would have loved to see this one in an A5 size because I like A5 a little bit better than B6, but I will still use this. And this planner is the reason I got a B6 cover. So I'm totally gonna use this for something. I'm not exactly sure what, but <laughs> it's going in my lineup for sure. I just love, love, love this planner. So there you go, there is my whole Aura Estelle order. I hope you guys liked it. This is one that I'm super excited about. I will end up using these covers and then reviewing them. They are not cheap, they are super expensive, but the quality just looks so nice. I'm so impressed with them. So yeah, I've reviewed their Tomoy River paper planners for 2023 and I have really liked them. So it's one of the companies I was super excited to purchase from for Black Friday. All right, all the grandparents are back and chit-chatting and things, I wanted to go ahead and film this. You might hear noises in the background. We've got landscaping going in the neighbor's yard. I loaded these things up to the brink and they do have a little bit of spine bending, but these books are super flexible. These are all Tomoe River paper planners. So they're nice and flexible and soft spined. So I beefed them up. I'm only on the second loop there. So there's room for these planners to get beefy and filled up with stickers and things. But there's two full planners in here. I don't know why you would necessarily need two full planners, but maybe a notebook and a planner in here. This is the Hone from Hobonichi, and it seems to fit nicely in this cover. There's room for it. There's plenty of room for another one to fit in the cover here. And then of course you can loop in smaller booklets and things in here if you wanna use the elastics, but I am so sold about sticking two books in here. So it would be like a social media planner, my regular to-do listing type of planner. Great option. Then I'm thinking A5, I end up using a sticker sneeze planner. It's got like daily journaling pages. And then I could do like a bullet style, a bullet journal style thing here with ideas, notes, to-do lists, checklists, tracking things, collections, lists, all sorts of things in here. So this is just a notebook from Paper Test. It's a 400 page notebook and a yearly um, sterling ink with the full daily pages in the back. I definitely am using this planner in my lineup and look how pretty it looks. This is the quartz color from Sterling Ink with the pink, oh, so pretty together. I think that would be a great option. And if I wanted to do something like a half year in here, if I have something else that needs to be in a actual dated planner, I could do a half year or I could just not use the half year pages and just use the daily pages or even just use these as daily pages and not even pay attention to all the writing. But there's still a bunch of pages in the back of this half year. It's got 185 pages, so that would be somewhere I could do the same kind of bullet journal -y style thing and just kind of ignore those front pages, slip it in as well. It takes a second to get it slipped in there, but then they would match. 
And I like that idea too, and it would be a little bit slim lined. But um, I'm only on the middle loop in this one as well. And there's plenty of room for those to grow and then they would both match if they're like that. Super duper cute. I definitely will be using the A5 size. I'm pretty sure I'm using this size as well. I might end up using all three for various different things. And here is the B6 size. I've got two full B6 planners in here. Again, it's looped on the middle loop, so there's still plenty of room to grow. And of course I said in the other one, the spines are bending a little bit, but that's fine with these planners. It doesn't bother me at all. I have a full paper test in here with daily pages. They're not dated, but they are daily pages. And then the dated or Estelle is in here as well. So if you need two different sets of planning stuff, it would actually fit in there. I'm just kind of shocked how much fits in these. So I wanted to include that in this video as I'm playing around. I'm just like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I can fit two planners in each one of these covers if I want to. And of course you can do a planner with a notebook or a planner with lots of different stickers and accessories and things doesn't necessarily have to be two full-on chunky planners, but you can if you want to. I, I'm shocked. I'm shocked how much they hold. They're gorgeous, and right now they're bricks because they're loaded up, but they're just so pretty. I couldn't believe like how, how much I could fit in these. Like This could be legit all the planners I would need. Of course, I use a Moxie line for goal setting, but they have A5 goal setting pages like in companion notebooks that are slim. They could totally fit in my A5 planner as well. It could be the thing in the front, and then it would be everything I need in these little planner covers. Of course, I have my wellness and stuff in a Hobonichi cover right now, but like, how cute does that look together? It's like super cute. I'm just shocked how much I really like these ones. Of course, this one's getting scuffed up, and I know they'll get scuffed up, especially because I picked two really light colors. I was a little nervous about that as well, but I just, you know, that's part of the the charm, the charm of it is it's getting well loved, well used, and it will get some uh, wear and tear over time, but I just, I'm shocked. I'm sold. I can't wait to design my planner lineup. I was waiting for these to get here so that I could play around with them and really make the hard decisions on what I'm going to be using for 2024. I have so many good options, but I think most of my planner options are going to be these smaller Tomoe River paper style planners. So as far as what I need and what I want, I want a sticker sneeze planner, a down and dirty daily to-do list type thing, some sort of bullet journal. I've got this fuzz that keeps sticking to me. <laughs> I don't know where it's from. Um, some sort of down and dirty bullet journaling type of thing, some brush lettering practice, some Japanese lettering practice. Um, I think I might have already said gratitude. I need a fitness planner, a content planner, and I want content to be social media as well. And then also a wellness planner, which I have in here. I'm gonna be using Wonderland 222 for my wellness. So that one's already in here, ready to go. I've just got lots of different options and choices to make now. I'm just super excited about this. So for goal setting, I do have a moxie line. I'm pulling it off my shelf. It is also pink, so it goes perfectly with these. So I can definitely pair the moxie life with any of these and it looks amazing. So pretty. Look at that. Just, it's gorgeous except the lighter colors with this one. So this one will match any of my pink floral leaning type of things as well. And because I think pink and teal look great together, the teal one also looks banging with those. Like how pretty is that together? Super good. I just love it. So there you go. There's a look at potential lineup things. I've got to make some tough decisions in the next couple of weeks. And today I've got some more Hubman and Chub Girl goodness to give away. I've got some sticker sheets from my mystery box and mystery sticker pack. So I've got some of the cute little Starry Night ones. This one has a little bit of a holographic glitter to it. I've got some divider tabs, a cute little postcard, some busy bees, and also some Capricorn stickers. So that is going to be the giveaway for today. Enter through the raffle copter in the description box and you'll see all of the information about how the giveaway is going to work and bonus entries. So definitely check that out. Be sure to like, subscribe, follow me along, and I will catch you next time. Have a great day guys. Bye!